Hey guys, this is Sophia and today I'm here with another unboxing. For those who don't know, I've actually been a huge fan of Michelle Phan since the very beginning. She was actually one of the very first YouTubers I watched and I fully supported. I remember when she initially launched M Cosmetics with L'Oreal, I bought everything. I had bought, you know, her really large M Cosmetics palette that was also had blush in it, which I, if I can find a photo, I will leave it right here but it was massive and obviously makeup expires and it's been a couple years since that product's launched so i no longer have it but i remember i really did enjoy that eyeshadow palette or palette in general so i've been dying to wait for her to launch another eyeshadow palette because i really believe in her quality and as you can see i'm actually wearing one of her infinite lip clouds today in faded clementine it is one of my favorite colors and it's actually one of the only oranges i will ever wear because it's just so perfect for my skin tone so i really do trust her and i really do love her products so i'm really excited to get into it i'm really just going to do an unboxing and first impression through swatches i'm not going to necessarily test out the product if you're interested in seeing me test out the products through a day or a day or two, let me know in the comments down below and I will see if I can get that to you. But today is just gonna be a short and sweet unboxing and swatches and first impression and that's it. I will actually also link other unboxing videos I've done of her new releases in the description box. Last thing, I always forget to say this, but this video is not sponsored by Michelle Phan or M Cosmetics. Without further ado, let's just get into it. I was actually surprised when it arrived in my apartment most of her packaging usually comes in a box. I think this is probably more environmentally conscious packaging, so it's good, but I was just surprised when I opened it and saw that this was from her. So the receipt and the package, so I can still see it's still very similar. It's still wrapped in black tissue paper, which is how it comes in even in the box. So I'm gonna open the long packaging first. I ordered three products, two from her Magic Hour collection, I think that's what it's called, and then one product that is my now holy grail. So, I know what one of them are, and I know what, how one of them wears. So I'm just gonna wrap this, and here they are. Old school. So this is a product that I repurchased. It is basically the Sculpting Brow Cream. If you are in the market for the perfect brow cream, honestly, this is really, really good. I've used the Glossier Boy Brow, don't like it, unpopular opinion I know, but this one just works wonders. This is one of the Magic Hour Collections product that I got, which is a lip cushion. I believe it's supposed to be kind of similar, not to keep comparing the brands, but the Glossier like Generation G lip balms, but I believe this one is supposed to be more of a lip mask or like a lipstick lip mask. And I didn't realize this when it was first announced. Okay, okay, open this. I didn't realize this when it was first announced, but apparently this collection is um, a collaboration between Michelle Phan and some other makeup artists that I've actually never heard of. So here it is. It's actually shorter than I anticipated. Um, here's the infinite lip cloud I was wearing. I'm wearing right now, and it is. I, can't, I literally can't tell if you can see, but it is a little bit shorter, which is surprising. I actually expected it to be longer and thinner. I don't know why. Here is the color. Maybe I should take my lipstick off because so I can try this and give an accurate first impression. Okay, BRB. Okay. I got most of the color off and now my lips feel ridiculously dry so I actually have to put this on. On the website I did see that for this product they actually say that once you I think push up the product you can't retract it so just be aware of that if you also purchase this product so wait is it not twist? Oh it's twisting the wrong way. Yes, it literally can't retract, so I'm glad I didn't do too much. But it seems like when you twist it, um, it not a lot of product shoots out, so I think it's okay if you might twist out a little bit more, but just be warned that it really does not retract. So I'm going to put this on because my lips feel ridiculous. Oh god, wow. And I can't tell if you can tell, so I'm going to scooch in. That is really balmy. Like, very down. 
and here you can see that it's kind of like melted off upon texture and I didn't really push that hard. Okay, so I have like an uneven bit right here because that just came right out. Okay, I don't know why, but this texture just feels exactly like the serum blush, but I'm putting it on my lips, so I don't know. It does, and oh, I will say that it probably does feel similar because I think they both have vitamin E and hyaluronic acid in it. So I actually cleaned up twice and I'm already running out, so I have to click it up again. So first impression, it is extremely balmy and moisturizing, I think because of the hyaluronic acid and the vitamin E. You can see it's kind of like dirtying around the rim, which, so I literally don't know if you can just see that. Let's, hang on. let's, let's use the receipt, let's put the receipt to good use. Hopefully you can see that, but you can see that like some of the product has kind of gotten to the edges. Anyways, that's a very minor like packaging and maybe like product detail. I'm gonna put it back, clips on really nice. Anyways, as I was saying, it does feel very balmy. I actually really like the amount of color dis deposited. I will say that my comparison to the Glossier Generation G lip balms, I don't even know what they call it, um, is very spot on in that they're both supposed to be hydrating and they're both supposed to deposit a light color but the leg up for this is actually that this is more hydrating and it deposits way more color which is actually why I don't own any of the Generation G lipsticks because they really don't do anything. So I genuinely really love this. I think it's a gorgeous pink shade. I kind of really would love them to actually come up with more colors. I think this in a berry would be so beautiful, especially in the winter and fall time. One thing I will say though, I'm not expecting this to last because again, it is very, uh, it's a very high shine and balmy product. So I'm assuming as soon as I eat or as soon as I drink anything, a lot of product is going to come out. Actually, let's give it a test. I have some water here. So you can see that, I'm gonna use paper again, um, there's like some deposited color. So again, I'm not, ex this is not a long lasting lipstick and they're not advertising it as such. So I'm not, you know, bad mouthing it in, in any way, but again, it's just more of a heads up that this is a product that if you are wearing it out for an entire day, intentionally as a lipstick, you will have to reply, reapply this on a maybe, every meal basis or every couple of hours. Either way, you will have to bring this with you everywhere. Now I'm gonna to go to the main event. This is the reason why I purchased this product. Um, I know this kit or collection has three products in it. I don't remember what the third one is. Actually, let me check. Okay, the third product was a powder blush. The only reason why I didn't get it, although the packaging is absolutely gorgeous, is because I no longer use powder brush blushes anymore. I'm really just a cream blush kind of a person now. Um, so I saw no reason to own that as much as I love Michelle Vaughn. So here is the palette. Oh my god, the packaging is so cute. I love the ombre. I'm really excited about this. Okay, so here I'm gonna... Oh my god. Okay, first of all, it's an eyeshadow palette that fits in my hand. I think the only other like travel size eyeshadow palette I have is the Huda Beauty, like nine core, and this is actually smaller than that, so. Like, I, I don't even know what to say. If like the eyeshadows are beautiful, if they work, if they blend easily, like maybe this is all you need to travel with you anywhere or any sort of eyeshadow palette that you wanna bring with you, like this could be it. So here you can see, it seems like, Oh, I thought it was a button for a second, but no, it's just, you dig your fingers under it. Wait, I don't want to break it, hang on. Oh, there it is. 
Well, at least I know it's very secure. Okay, here, I'm gonna open it. Da, da, da. Okay, the eyeshadow. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, so I can immediately see that there are three mattes and three shimmers. I don't know what she's called, but maybe metallic. There are two browns, three pinks, and one champagne shade, I'm assuming for highlight, um, which is perfect. This is, okay, again, you know, usually when I see eyeshadow palettes like, palettes like this, I'm not, like, give it to me, because I don't usually wear a lot of pinks in my eyeshadow, so this is kind of outside of my comfort zone, but I did see promotional photos for this collection, and honestly, it made me really want to try pink eyeshadow, so I thought this was a great place to try. Um, so I'm going to swatch the mattes first. Let's start with the mattes. It's just so pretty, I don't want to ruin it. Wait, maybe I should take a photo first. Okay, I'm done. Anyways, let's just get into the mattes. Okay, first impression of swatching. <gasps> Wow. First of all, I have never felt an eyeshadow or a matte eyeshadow specifically in this texture before. It feels really, really compact. It is not powdery. Like, there is barely any powder kickoff, which is really, really rare for matte eyeshadow. It feels almost like the powder is infused in some sort of gel. By the way, please don't quote me on this. I'm just like trying to explain to you what I'm feeling. It feels like not a regular matte eyeshadow. I hope it's... Oh my god. Wow. That swatched really nice. I'm impressed. Okay, I'm gonna move on to this brown matte shade. Wow. I mean, by the way, I really like brown eyeshadow. This one's oddly a little bit pinkish. So, lost matte color right here. This one is definitely more mauve-y. I, I, this texture, I can't get over it. Like, what is it? I'm gonna have to look into that. Oh my god. That is so pretty. Like... By the way, it's really hard for me to be impressed with an eyeshadow palette nowadays. I'm just saying, like, M Cosmetics, people are sleeping on it, because this is freaking amazing, and I've only swatched half the palette. Okay, I'm going to move on. I'm going to start with the champagne shade. This one feels more normal. This one definitely feels more like what you would expect a shimmery eyeshadow to feel. There's nothing, like, different about this, so I have nothing to say. So I'm just going to swatch it right here. Woo! That's freaking beautiful. Next to the pink gold shade, what I've noticed is that within the same kind of eyeshadow, the consistency of the product is very similar. So it's not like one is more powdery than the other or one's more bouncy than the other, like none of that. So that's good. Okay, here is the pinkish gold. I mean, that's so pretty. I, I think I've ran out of adjectives, to be honest. The last one is this brown shimmery shade, which I'm really excited about. I'm like genuinely in love with this. I, oof, wow. First impressions of this eyeshadow palette is love. I genuinely think the quality is really good. And by the way, the shimmery eyeshadow is like it is still tinting my fingers. So it's not just the mattes that are tinting them, which makes me think that I think on the eyelid, it'll probably be pretty long lasting, which is good. Um, but again, I haven't tested that theory. I would love for them to come out with more of these travel size palettes, just because one of my thoughts on this palette um, and any other palette I own is that they're not very travel friendly and I wouldn't want to bring them with me. But this one, this one I can carry with me. I can take it to work with me. I can put eyeshadow on the on the train ride, on the commute to work. Like I can do a lot with this because it is so compact. It fits in my hand. Um, it will fit almost anywhere in my like small bag or whatever. I 
I'm genuinely impressed. By the way, I'm still, my lips were very nourished from this lip cushion. So anyways, I hope you found this video informative, fun. Um, I know I yap a lot, but I'm a very talkative person, especially when it comes to a brand I really love and passionate about and a brand whose products gets me excited. So I hope you have fun. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below or you can DM me on Instagram. But yeah, I hope you will stick around for the next video and I will see you soon. Bye.